Hi there, I'm Grace. I'm 15. I'm raised by a single mother. My dad has left us when I was five. My mother is a very mild person, so I do everything to take care of her and cherish her. She is the one who made me a good person. She managed to both earn the living and do things around the house. She was having difficult times, but once I became a bit older, I began to help her. Despite the shortage of money, we lived a wonderful life. I never envied my well-off peers. Of course, they could get whatever they wanted, but these things didn't matter to me. My only dream was to learn to sing. I have an ear for music, and I sing all kinds of song every day whenever I have time. It makes me feel so good. Mom tells me I have a talent, but I still have to work hard. And I need some kind of a professional mentor. One spring afternoon, I was walking down the street heading to my house, and suddenly I saw a child who was chasing a butterfly in the middle of a traffic way. Without thinking twice, I rushed to grab him. I took the poor thing to the bus stop. He began to scream, then his mother came and asked what was happening. I told her the whole story and she finally calmed down. She apologized for her behavior, saying that she stepped away to a parking lot for a minute and when she was back, her child was gone. We got into a conversation. Her name was Emily. It turned out she was really good at TikTok and produced bunches of viral videos for her channel. She has several million subscribers. Gee, how in the world does she keep such a large audience? I thought, it's not that easy. I said I would subscribe to her channel and follow the news. She turned out to be a cool person. She left her child alone, but she learned her lesson and of course won't do that ever again. When listening to the story of my life, Emily seemed puzzled and a bit upset. She offered me help, but I said that I didn't mean to complain. I was just living my life and I was not expecting any financial compensation for what I'd done. A simple thank you was just enough. So we parted. And I have good memories of meeting her, another bright person. As promised, I subscribed to her channel. Her videos were of a really high quality. I didn't go on TikTok often. The next time was a week after I subscribed. When I saw her get another video, I was very surprised. On her channel, she was asking people to raise some funds to improve my life. She told them the whole story and posted a link to a fundraising website. I clicked on it and saw people had already donated a million dollars. I couldn't believe she would just give all this money to me. How generous that was! I immediately shared the news with my mom. She was delighted. A month later, after the campaign was over, I received the funds. Two million dollars. Mom and I were shocked. People who simply watched the video were so responsive and cared for my life. My financial situation used to cause hostility and misunderstanding in people around me. I was neglected, humiliated and mocked at. Although I never did anything bad to people, I got used to this kind of treatment and I put up with it. I lived my life the way I could and cherished my inner light. This time, I came across a completely different attitude, the exact opposite of what I used to. I lacked this attention, encouragement, kind words and deeds. I can't find the right words to describe how excited I and my mom were. We took the money and thanked Emily. We didn't expect her to do something like that. We finally bought a good apartment, clothes, and I got enrolled in a music school. The remaining money was left as savings. We sent a photo and video report to Emily, and she thanked all the subscribers. This made her channel even more popular. She lost counts of subscribers. So, a simple good deed somehow made me a millionaire. But it wasn't about money. I did what I had to do. Good deeds are something you do with your heart. That's why you actually call them good. Same with charity. You don't do it for personal gain. My life has changed. I graduated from a music school and got an account on TikTok. I produced the videos of me singing and posted covers. I quickly got several hundred thousand subscribers and the channel continues growing. By the way, I learned the TikTok basics from Emily. When I grow up, I will surely continue building my singer career. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share in comments how important you think it is to do good. Are you into good deeds?